If you want to learn how to make a 1930s cocktail, keep watching. Today it's Between the Sheets. Hi guys, so today I'm going to make a cocktail. It's from the 1930s, but for some reason, I don't know why, but I thought it was like a 80s cocktail. I think it's because of the name Between the Sheets. I keep thinking sex on the beach and screaming orgasm and stuff like that. If you want to learn a little bit about the 80s cocktails, I do have a video, the links at the back of this one that I did recently. So 1930s and first up it calls for 22 and a half mils or three quarter of an ounce of Bacardi. Next up 22 and a half mils of a cognac. I'm using the Cavorsier VSOP, delicious cognac. Big hello to the guys from the exchange, the blend here in Australia. Hit me up with some bottles of booze guys, I'll do more videos for you. Next up, seven and a half mils of lemon juice, which is a quarter of an ounce. Then 22 and a half mils or three quarter of an ounce of Cointreau, a triple sec. Gonna make this uh, cocktail for you and then I'm gonna explain a little bit about the history of it. Last but not least is two and a half mils, or I'd normally add just like a bar spoon of sugar syrup or sugar gum. Add some ice and give it a really good shake. All right, I'm now going to double strain that into a glass. I'm using a Nick and Nora today. And for my garnish today, I'm going to use a lemon twist. Just to get those oils over the drink and the rim. That is between the sheets. All right, let's give it a try. Delicious drink made in the 1930s by Harry McElhone, the Harry's New York bar in Paris. That's where they also did the sidecar. This is his twist on the sidecar as well, and um, I really like it. Adding a little bit of the uh, Bacardi Carta Blanca boozes it up a little bit more. Uh, I guess it makes it a little bit drier as well. Hmm. It's one of those other cocktails. These things have been around, you know, for 90, 100 years, some of the classic cocktails. And that's why I always say, for you guys that are up and coming bartenders, home bartenders, you really need to learn the classics. Everything comes from that. It's, it's like your blank canvas, learn your classics, and then create everything. And there's nothing wrong with adding a little bit of a twist to a classic cocktail. I do that all the time. Change one, two ingredients, and you know that that base is uh, something that's been around for a very long time and it's awesome. So guys, please like, subscribe. I wanna hit two, three hundred thousand subscribers, so please help me out, guys. See you again soon, or let's talk drinks.